we are picking up the 2023 Lowrider ST. Only you show up to a concert with a helmet. Hell yeah. We know what you Brew look rock. like. Brew rock represent. Yeah. That looks so good. The way they put all these edges together and the components, all the work that goes into... <laughs> Good morning, it is a beautiful, beautiful morning out here in Milwaukee. We are picking up the 2023 Lowrider ST in that white Sam Pearl right here. This is gonna be my bike for the next two days. Yeah, so out of all the bikes in this lineup, I picked this one to ride, cause I mean, it's it's my favorite bike on the lineup besides my Rogue Glide. This is, I mean, come on, you you, you guys know, the, the Lowrider, Lowrider ST to me is, is, is the best of the best. It's funny because people still think, some people still think that I, I still have my uh, my Lowrider S on. I always gotta remind them like, no, I, unfortunately, I, I sold that bike, but yeah. If I had to get another Lowrider, it, it would be this one, it would be the ST. Got my bag packed up in here. Um, basically what we're doing today is that we're gonna be heading over to the uh, developmental center um doing a few other things going to the museum and then cruising around milwaukee the crew from jersey is in town as well so we'll be riding with them later on uh, but we got some free time uh where we're able to just uh go around and see what's going on in the city and put some miles on this bike right here got all the brand new cvos rolling by right there we um we were lucky enough to be the first ones on the press ride yesterday um we were on those bikes for about seven hours god uh yeah and trust me when i tell you you're going to want to go ahead throw a leg over one of these bikes see if you can get to one of your dealerships and um or if they have any demo rides around you because those bikes are wonderful they ride great <laughs> good job by knocking the cone over man <laughs> So we got Sean on the Apex Rogue Glide right here. And oh, I don't know what it is about riding a, a, a Lowrider ST, man, but I just feel right at home. There's just something about this bike, man. I don't know what it is. This is such a big city and I, literally see nobody walking around like the streets are just empty and desolate there's just i don't know it's just it has like an eerie feeling to it it's weird i guess i'm just not used to that i'm used to just seeing people everywhere i live around an area where everyone's out just doing something hey at least we got a full tank to do whatever. <laughs> I forget how light and nimble and flickable these bikes are. I'm always on my road glide, so getting on a on a lighter bike like this is like it just feels like a little toy. <laughs> and this bike especially is just fun, man. You got the 117 on here. Bike weighs around 500 pounds. Super light. Inverted front end. It's just nimble, man. The things I would do to this bike if I had one, man. And when I got rid of my Lowrider S, I, I, I was like maybe halfway done with the things that I wanted to do to that bike. And just to be able to have like a blank canvas right here, all stock. Like, so many ideas are just rushing into my head right now of what I would do to it. Customize it in my own way. Just everything. Sick paint job on it as well. The next build will have a sick-ass paint job. Three hours later. 
All right, so we just got out of the uh, Harley Davidson Development Center here, where they put all the all the engines together, the Milwaukee Eights and the Revolution Max engines. We literally saw everything, man. The way they put all these engines together and the components, all the work that goes into just assembling everything, and it, you see robots and people, and it's it's a beautiful thing. It's it's like a symphony, <laughs> to say the least. That 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 would be the perfect way to put it, a symphony. Um, I'm gonna be doing a, a, a video focusing just on that. So in case you guys want to watch that, that that'll be coming out soon as well. Um, so uh, I'll input a lot of information in that as well. Anyways, right now we are heading to lunch to a place called Hot House, and right after lunch we're gonna head to another uh, product center. All right, we got lost in the pack, so Jess is gonna lead. We got Block, and we got Jess right here in front of me. And I finally get to see Appa for the first time. Woof! Bike sounds great. hot out here man we got block on the highway king that bike is so clean <laughs> this is a nice little street right here let's go to main street Okay. I don't know how be. That bike sounds so good. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I wish I was on my bike over here. spot wait so th these are what tell me again these are cheese curds of cheese curds, curds of cheese yeah okay. curdled cheese in wisconsin you're in cheese country so okay so let's try it is it stuffed with cheese i'm assuming yeah it's like it's kind of like a mozzarella stick is it boiling hot it's a cheese stick mm. okay Cheese curds. I approve. Fried cheese, how do you go wrong with that? Oh, it is. Oh, a little hot. <laughs> that looks so good. What you got? You... Blackened chicken sandwich. Chicken cookie. And I got a burger. This was good. Wow. Oh. Three hours later. All right, guys, so we just got back from the PDC. I did some recording on the way back and then noticed, guess what? Rookie mistake, no audio. My mic wasn't plugged in. But anyways, the PDC, we had a great time. That's the uh, product and development center that Harley-Davidson has here in Milwaukee. 
and wow the things we saw in there we couldn't record obviously uh, a lot of it's a special building that's where everything goes down that's where all the ideas boil up um they give us a full tour of the place they went over everything um and, and it's just my god the, the things we saw in there just makes me appreciate my bike just makes me appreciate the brand a lot more because of everything that they do how they do their bikes the process that it takes to just make a simple it just everything everything so beautiful experience um thank you harley for giving me the option because not everybody gets to walk in that building um not even media it's not open to the public it's only been maybe a handful of times in the, in the time that that building's been there that they let any media within that building as well so we we, we felt very special to be in there uh we got a lot you know we, we walked away with a lot of knowledge and it, it was a great experience man um so we did that uh we did the product development we did the factory where they assemble all the um all the engines and they ship them off to the york um plant in pa uh, but we saw how they were able to put all the engines together the process that it goes through and we went down the assembly line it was awesome to see american people build an american engine for an american bike and it was like it's it was something oh, a sight to see man it was beautiful um but yeah that's it we're about to go grab dinner now it's been a long day i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i don't know what today's video was gonna be i just wanted to go out there record hey we got the bike um and then just ride around give you guys a look of milwaukee and um give you guys a show of everything that we we're able to show there's a lot of stuff that we couldn't see today but that was it the Lowrider ST, I have it till tomorrow as well, so it's my bike for the next two days. Um, so we're gonna do a lot more riding. We're gonna be going to um, another Harley Davidson dealership. Uh, that's where they have all the vendors and everything at tomorrow. So that's gonna be its own separate video as well. I'll give you guys a walkthrough of all the vendors. We're gonna be at the La Para, uh, at the La Para 10 as well. That that's gonna be great. So thank you for tuning in today. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. There's a lot more if you already saw this. It's gonna be about five or six more videos coming out. Check them out. Three hours later. Because only you show up to a concert with a helmet. Oh yeah. We know what you Brew look like. Brew Rock represent. Yeah, we know what you look like right now. Oh no, hold on. Wait, let me put her back on. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> Alright, so we weren't gonna come because we were kind of all acting like old people, saying that hey we were tired. But uh we came. Was this hardy Official merchandise store, dude. You're getting hard. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Wait a minute, is that blockhead? Are you blockhead? Wait, Can you talk? <laughs> We're special. We got some VIP passes here, so hopefully we get some. We're gonna be right in the front, but we gotta get beard on right now. Beer me. How are you buying everybody drinks here? No, I only got forty dollars. <laughs> 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 And then I believe you can use that to pay like the, on here, but you would just put it like.